Hi, Akeem. How you doing? Pretty good. You know, I'm uh, I'm I'm doing even better right now because I'm I'm talking I'm talking to you. You're you're freaking Odin for crying out loud. I am freaking Odin. Odin. <laughs> that's, that's accurate. So 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 when you went into uh, this project, like you know, you 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 got you got suited up in the mocap suit. You went to the the warehouse and everything. What, what 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 was your first thought? Because I know this this is vastly different from from any of the movie roles uh, that 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 you've had. Um, it's the it's multiple uh, multiple reactions. You know, mm -hmm. first of all, you know, uh, the, the first they did all the dots to get my you know my my imaging right um, mm -hmm. months before we started shooting. Then on the day and then we rehearsed and I met everybody and I was very pleased to meet Christopher Judge and. And Danielle and all the and all the cast, uh, they were really welcoming, and clearly knew what they were doing right from the read through. The, you know, their characters were very clear. And um, uh, and then when we started putting on the stuff, you know, first you put on the, uh, the uniform, and 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 it's it's a forty five minute process. I mean, they have to. Ca uh, calibrate it, and they have to make sure that you know the, uh, they're, they're, they're they can respond to it, and they're seeing every movement properly. So that takes like 40, 45 minutes, and this is before we've done anything. So that's, mm -hmm. and then I got to put on this helmet with the camera right in front of my face, so I can't see as it's turning wherever I'm, <laughs> and I can't, you know, it's like how am I going to act with people, and then. You know, Christopher Judge, who's such an, as an expert at this kind of um, acting, and everyone else were used to kind of looking at the screen while they were acting with you because they wanted mm -hmm. to see how the positioning of the body was and all that stuff and how physically it, it was revealing, uh, the, you know, they were revealing themselves and so on. And I'm like, you know, hey, look at me. Hey, I'm talking <laughs> to you. What are you doing? You know, um, and that made me consciously or not, um, uh, Odin even a little bit more, you know, uh, uh, present and pushy and, you know, insistent and, you know, it's like, come on, look at me, motherfucker, what are you doing, you know? <laughs> um, and uh, uh, and it, was a, it was a fun combination, but, and the other thing is that every scene is a one -er. you can't You can't cut into these scenes because mm -hmm. they're continual action. So that's something that I, you know, it's going like going back to theater or going back to the long walk and talks of the West Wing where it has to be one shot. And, and th they were encouraging me to improvise if I came to it, but I didn't want to improvise and then have to do it all over again if the yeah. scene was working, if the imp improv didn't work, right? So there's a lot going on in my mind while still kind of eliminating it all and then just diving in and with, with the actors, that was so good that I was working with, it was very easy to dive in because they were, they were giving it back. Do you know what I mean? What, 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 was, what was it like trying to like, I guess, find the, the, the voice uh, for Odin? Like what, what was your inspiration uh, for, for your take on Odin? Um, I just went up, well, there's a couple of things uh, I need to say about that. First of mm -hmm. all, it's my son, uh, Gus, who you might've read uh, is the reason why I did this thing in the first place because he was, um, you know, in the car when I got the call, and he was like, "Do it, do it, do it, do it." And I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what God of War was. He's like, he's been doing. He was playing it from the original game, and yeah. and it's his favorite game. And and he's a mythology freak, my son. So from a very young age, he he knew he knows all of the Greek mythology, Roman mythology, Norse mythology, every kind of mythology. He is an expert on. So I needed my son to explain to me how uh, this particular uh, concept had mixed the mythologies up a little bit mm -hmm. and so on and so, so forth and so on. But all I really needed to know was Odin is the, um, the all father and he's the um, God of the, and that knowledge. He wanted to know everything. He wanted mm -hmm. to know everything, um, which I think comes down to it, knowing the reason that you're that you're here and knowing maybe knowing so much that you can become even that much more powerful and maybe even eternal and all that stuff right so um so someone who has a who has a, uh, uh, an obsession with 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 anything is very interesting to me as a character to play 
but the obsession with knowledge uh, is and wisdom is is something that that really uh, uh, interested me. So, uh, what does that? What does someone like that do? And how does he? And how does he manipulate himself? Considering I'm not the strongest person in the, in the uni- in this universe, I'm not the biggest person in this universe. How do I amass the knowledge enough to become uh, all powerful as well as as well as all knowing? You know, omnis- omnipotent and, om- and omniscient and all of those things. So he be, he needs to be manipulative. He needs to be able to understand behavior and understand what other people want and how badly they want it in order to uh, to manipulate them to get to get them to to to, to you know to operate um, uh, at his beckoning. If if that makes any kind of sense, does that make sense? No, absolutely. Yeah, and I, I got to say shout out you know to to your son Gus because I mean like because. I'm glad he convinced you to do to do it because, like, you you gave a phenomenal performance. Um, had, had, has he your didn't son convinced me? He he just insisted that I do. It. <laughs> he didn't really convince me, but there was no choice. Yeah, he was Sorry, like, "Go ahead, you're doing this, Dad." Um, so, you're, has you're has your son this, has your, have you experienced it with with your son, uh, the, the Ragnarok? I have not played it. No, um, I'm kind of loving the response that I'm getting from the world, from Twitter and from other people. Like, uh, I don't know if you know the actor David Harbour from Stranger Things, mm-hmm. but he came running up to me the other night. I'm here in New York City, and he goes, dude, I just killed you. It was <laughs> phenomenal. You know, um, uh, you know, and uh, for, uh, for David to, to, to come running up to me with that comment was hysterical to me. So I, I love the reaction I'm getting. Um, and I don't need to see it to to uh, uh, myself. I might someday. Mm-hmm. Um, I love the, what they did with the image, and I love what they did with the character visually. They showed me posters of it or pictures of it. I've mm-hmm. seen it on 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 the web. Um, but no, my son absolutely loves the uh, the game, and 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 has told me he loves me in it, and that's 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 important to me, <laughs> and that's very cool. Um, uh, and I love the discussions that I've seen online about, you know, my, my interpretation or our interpretation, I should say, because Eric and, and Matt and, and Corey and everybody have certainly had input. Um, and I kind of I really relish everyone's reaction without really knowing specifically what they're reacting to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, so, you know, to answer your question, it was odd and challenging and and nerve a little bit nervous nerve-wracking but but so much fun and they were such amazing people that it made it happy a happy experience well you you definitely have become my favorite uh in pop culture cultural media you become my favorite odin interpretation i'm even surpassing that of the mcu's interpretation i'm not going to throw any shade i'm just saying you are my favorite interpretation of odin (laughs) that i've seen uh in media Think, so. th- think, th- I really appreciate that. It's very kind of you to say it. But think of think of how intimidated I was to know that Anthony Hopkins was Odin. You know, it's like, uh, you know, and I didn't find that out until well after I took because I, I wasn't aware of the Marvel universe so much at that point in time. And then, mm-hmm. um, uh, and then so I took it for. And then I hear that Anthony Hopkins get what? I'm like what? Um, uh, you know, it's like, uh, it's like, you know, here's a mitt, uh, 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 uh go be like Mickey Mantle, you know, uh, go, go, go be Aaron Judge. Here's a bat. Let's see what you can do. Yeah. I definitely want to see you pop up in another video game. <laughs> it's, it's all, honestly, it's just, it's always a pleasure whenever I see you pop up on the big screen, on, on the small screen. So I mean, it was uh. a surprise when I saw you pop up. Uh, while playing <laughs> Ragnarok. I, oh, it was a pleasant surprise. It was a welcome surprise, of course. So hopefully we'll get to see you uh, in, in future video games as well. Uh, I appreciate that. That's really sweet and very kind. Uh, thank you so much, Richard. It was a pleasure talking to you. And, and Sam back at you, and, uh, 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 and thanks for having me.